Hi guys, this is Kim with Creative Practicality and today I'm continuing to work on my Rainbow Bright journals. I'm almost done with them. I have everything sewn in the cover on this one. This one's almost finished. I, I just need to put the finishing touches and figure out what I'm going to use to tie it. I haven't decided if I wanted to use the Rainbow Bright ribbon that I have or one of the fabrics. So today I wanted to show you how I made the tassel and the charm. I had said that I was going to do that. So that's what I'm doing for this video. If you didn't see my previous videos on the rainbow paper, how I made the cover, I will put the link for that down below. And I had mentioned in those videos that I was going to have a video making this charm. And this is what it is here. I used the letter um, charm or letter beads that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. And then these rainbow beads I picked up at Joann's. And then I used one of the, the lobster clasps that you can buy at Joann's or Michael's. And then all the fun ribbons and fabrics that I used in the journal is what I used on the tassel. So let's go ahead and get started on this. What you will need, you'll need a round nosed pliers and a flat, like, like a flat, I'm, I'm not really sure <laughs> the names of the, of the different kinds of pliers, but these came in a jewelry making kit. This is what they look like. So those are the two that I use anyway. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the charm dangle first. I have a lobster clasp and this one is probably about a half an inch or five eighths inch from side to side. So there's that. And then for the beads, I have three rainbow beads. Oh, there it goes. And then I have the letter beads that spell out rainbow bright. I have a needle. This one is a big enough head that you can put your embroidery thread or twine, whatever you want to use, to go through the beads. It's easier to string it through everything using the needle and then let's see and then you just need some scissors and a little bit of tacky glue to kind of glue the very end of, that you cut off of this at the top after you tie it onto the lobster clasp oh and then you also need one little jump ring and that that is what I used to put it onto the lobster clasp. I tied it on to the jump ring and then put the jump ring onto the lobster clasp. So that's what I did there. So we're gonna go ahead and take a piece of your embroidery thread. I'm trying to think, I didn't really measure it out. I just pulled a pretty long piece out. I didn't cut it yet until after I had all of my beads on. So go ahead and stick one end through your needle. And then you're going to take one of the round beads and go through that. Just pull it all the way through. And then I'm going to, let's see, I, I'm gonna start by spelling out rainbow first. Just want to make sure I do this right. <laughs> so one round bead and then an R and I'll just go through and spell rainbow and then after rainbow I'll put one of my round beads. The holes on these letter beads are pretty big so 
they wouldn't be too bad to just go ahead and stick your embroidery thread through without a needle but I just find it easier with a needle so after I put rainbow I'm going to stick another bead in between that just spaces your two words out or names of rainbow bright and then go ahead and spell bright here You just want to make sure you have your letters all the right direction. And then after bright, and that is the correct spelling for Rainbow Bright, the name of the character. And then I'm going to put the last one there. Now what you want to do is go ahead and you're going to just go back through the letter, the last letter, the E, and you're going to feed your needle all the way through all of the beads. So let me show you that again. I'll do it closer to the camera. I know it's... Okay. I just want to make sure you know how to do it. Okay. So, I'll hold it up here. So I have it through that last bead. And I'm just going to go put my needle past the rainbow bead and just take my needle still with the same piece of embroidery thread and just go through all your beads. And if you have to stop part way and pull it through, you can do that. Just make sure you get it through. And I'm just going to keep going through rainbow. and just stick my needle back through. So your embroidery thread is going to be going through twice. First, through the first initial pass through the beads and then wrapping around the last bead and going through again. So then you're going to just make sure all of the thread, embroidery thread is pulled through. See like this one is looped there you just want to pull it through till everything is nice and tight. There. Hopefully that was, you could see that. All right, so we don't need all of this extra, so I'm just gonna go ahead, take my needle off, and then I'm going to pull the other end See if I could pull it through just so I don't waste all that extra. But I didn't know exactly how much I would need, so but you can just hopefully you can see that. I know it's kind of dark with the shadow and everything. I'm just holding my beads and pulling through. And then you want to leave a little bit up here at the top so you can tie this. First, I'm going to make a double knot just here at the top, just to secure that. And then I'm going to tie it onto my jump ring. This jump ring, it's probably a quarter inch. Now I'm just going to tie it a double knot again with my thread. I'm going to go ahead and clip this off so we don't need any more of the embroidery thread until we make the tassel. So I'm just going to double knot this. All right, and then trim it off close to the knot. Leave just a tiny bit, but I'm going to take my tacky glue and put some glue on the end just to make sure that that's double secure there. So 
I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on each of the ends of that embroidery thread. Just kind of tuck it, tuck it in there. I'm going to use my needle, just kind of make sure the glue is on all of it. Just kind of make it so that the pieces don't come apart in there. You've got your little charm dangle, it says rainbow bright, really cool. And then now I'm just going to use my two pliers here and pull apart the jump clip or the jump ring, not the jump clip. Just want to make sure that, of course, the opening part of the jump ring is up above there. So you can hook it into the lobster clasp. I think uh, having problems seeing here. There it is. You just want to take both sides with your pliers and pull it apart slightly. And then put it through that part on, oops, on, the on the lobster clasp. And you could totally do this before you tied. Actually, it would probably be easier to, to have done this before you tied the charm on. All right, I've got that ready to go. Now what we're, we're going to do is make our tassel. And I've made tassels before. This is pretty easy, just a simple tassel. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pieces. Um, one of them is a rainbow ribbon and the rest are the fabrics that I used on my book. So we just have to gather these together and I just kind of curl the ends. Oh, these are a little, little over a foot. It just depends on how tall your book is, but I kind of like to have my pieces kind of different sizes, but make them so that they go like almost to the bottom of the book, but not quite. So now you're going to gather your end here and kind of turn it so that you have a nice little part that can go. And I have these, they're called drawer pulls. And the only place that I've found these are on AliExpress. So I will find the link and put that down below for you. They don't sell them on Amazon. I, I've never been able to find like Google and find them somewhere here only been able to find them on AliExpress so they're they're called drawer pulls but they're they have like a maybe a dime sized ring on them and then they have kind of like a fastener like the little fastener parts that squeeze together and you put them through the hole and then you flatten them on the other side. So that's how I attach it to my book. But I go ahead and put all of my pieces of fabric, my strips, through the ring. And you want to arrange them however you want them to be, like whatever layered ones that you want on top. I think I want my rainbow ribbon on top since it's a rainbow bright book. And then the other ones underneath. So I'm just gonna pull my rainbow ribbon out and stick it through 
through the top here. And then you want to just lay it down and kind of pull them to where you have them even on both sides of the ring. Let's find the yellow one here. Just like that. And then now you will need your embroidery thread. And this embroidery thread I got in a pack or I purchased at a pack in a pack from Michaels. And the whole pack has several different rainbow kind of I'll find the pack here it's their J and P coats and it came with all of these different variegated embroidery threads and then a bunch of different solids they didn't sell them separately like that um, the rainbow ones anyway so I'm going to take a piece here and I like to make it kind of wrap around from the front to the back and leave myself a good amount on the empty side or the side that's not attached to the rest of the embroidery thread, if you know what I mean. And we're going to do a double knot to secure this at the top here. Do it as tightly as you can, a double knot, and then we'll adjust it, like pull the pieces down if we need to before we start twisting it. See, that didn't get very tight, but that's okay. You kind of want to keep your finger there to keep it tight, but I already double knotted it. I don't want to take it apart. So what I'm going to do is just when I twist it, I'll just twist it really tightly. So this end is kind of is longer, but we want it that way because we'll need that extra length to tie it at the end. So now you just want to make sure all of these pieces up at the top here are down as far as you want them to be. So I'm just pulling them down. And I think they're pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping. You take the piece that's attached to the rest of your embroidery thread and just start wrapping it around. Oops. Piece. Keep that pulled down there. Probably go like a good 15 to 20 times around. Just getting myself <laughs> tangled up here. All right. And there's not really a, a standard of how many times to go around. It just till it looks the way you want it to look up there, and it's nice and tight. And then go around to the back. Find the first, the other end of the embroidery thread, and you're just going to go down and make a double knot again. Just trying to get in trying to get it as tightly as as tight as possible I can't really talk today I apologize and just do a double knot
Okay, now I'm just going to leave, leave these long, but clip them down at the bottom like that. And that is just a simple tassel. I've seen people like sew, sew this at the top and then wrap it or put glue under there and wrap it, but I just think this works just fine and it, it holds really well. So there's your simple tassel and then you just take your lobster clasp and hook that on that has your charm and that hooks on there. And then what I will do on my second journal is just use a paper piercer and poke a hole where I want my tassel to go. I came down about a about an inch to where the actual ends of the fastener go through and you just poke push the two pieces the two ends together and go through the hole and then on the other side I'll show you how it is. It's just like like that. If you can see that there. You just fold it back so it's nice and secure in the spine of the book and then it's just a nice little way to hang your tassel on your spine on the cover. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully it helps you. If you have any questions just feel free to leave them down below. Go ahead and leave a comment. What are you working on right now? I'd love to know and if there are any any themes of journals that you would like to see me do in the near future, go ahead and leave that down below as well. I'm finishing these up. I finished Holly Hobby and Halloween. So if you want to see those, um, I have one Halloween and one Holly Hobby still available in my Etsy shop. So go check my Etsy shop out and then these will be up this week towards the end of the week. Um, actually, it'll just be one because one of them is a custom order. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.